Thanks to share advancements in Relumino mode for people with low vision. Everyone, let's hear it. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for attending this session. My name is Jong Ho Kim, and I'm working on picture quality development. Today, I'd like to talk about Rillumino mode. Rillumino mode is a viewing assistant feature that helps people with low vision watch TV. The idea of people, people with low vision watching TV may be unfamiliar. So now we we'll talk about why it is necessary and how it was developed. Here's what we will talk about today. First, let's learn what the Illumino mode is and how the Illumino algorithm works. We will show you how we have confirmed the effectiveness of the Illumino mode, and we will finish the presentation. What is Illumino mode? Illumino mode is a viewing assistant feature for people with low vision. First, let's define what we mean by low vision. Low vision refers to people with vision impairment who have difficulty performing daily activities. The number of people with low vision is increasing worldwide. In 2020, it is estimated that 553 million people worldwide have low vision impairment. Low vision impairment is a different concept from blindness, which is the inability to perceive the light. Many people with low vision have blurry vision and low contrast sensitivity, which makes images appear blurry and details in objects difficult to see. The example picture shows how a person with low vision sees an object. The picture on the left is an image seen by, with, seen by people with non-impaired vision. And the picture on the right is an image seen by people with low vision. Of course, this is just one example. The visual, the visual characteristics of people with low vision are very different from person to person. In general, People with low vision get information from TV and enjoy leisure activities similar to the general people. According to the survey, 96% of visually impaired adults watch television on a regular basis. However, they were forced to use the TV only by understanding the screen with audio or by listening to voice guidance explaining the screen. The word Illumino is borrowed from Latin. It means to give back the light. Illumino mode is designed to expand the viewing experience for people with low vision beyond the traditional method. The picture on the right, the result of the applying Illumino mode you may feel that the outlines of the image are too highlighted, or the color or brightness is too accessible. The main purpose of Illumino mode is to help people with low vision understand the screen contents. So, Illumino, Illumino mode can improve visibility of images, not picture quality. Uh, you can see the overall Illumino mode processing in the next video. Illumino mode outlines objects in the image more clearly with enhanced contrast ratio, brightness, color, and sharpness. When it all comes together, this is what Illumino mode would look like to someone with low vision. With the images enhanced, I can truly see how it can help me in the filmmaking process. Okay, 
Uh, let's take a look at the image processing operation for Realuminum mode. When people with low vision see an image, it can be said that they are viewing the image through blurry glass. So the outlines of the object is blurry, and it is difficult to distinguish the exact shape. How can you show them the image a little clearer? For people with low vision, outlines appear blurry. So drawing the outlines more clearly can be effective. Additionally, it may be a good idea to increase the brightness and color contrast of the image to improve contrast sensitivity. If the image is over enhanced in this way, object will be more recognizable even through blurry glass. This is the principle of Illuminum mode. You can see the overall image processing operation for Illuminum mode. The Illuminum algorithm aims to maximize local contrast sensitivity and color contrast around the Object. First, we use the smoothing filter to remove noise and minor details from the input image. After this process, only meaningful contour components for image understanding can be extracted. These extracted contours are overlaid on the original image to emphasize the outline of the object. At this time, the outline of the object may be expressed in green color to further increase visibility. Next, the contrast and color of the image are enhanced. To achieve this, the brightness and color distribution is uh, analyzed, and the enhancement gain is calculated for each image. After going through this process, you can obtain Illuminum image that even people with low vision can recognize. When Illuminum mode is applied to the video, it is necessary to make sure that it actually helps people with low vision watch TV. So while developing Illuminum, we also conducted clinical trials to verify its effectiveness. We conducted a clinical trial in collaboration with researchers at Samsung Medical Center. They have extensive experience in visual clinical trials. 67 low vision patients were recruited for the clinical trial. They were divided into three groups based on the degree of visual impairment, severe, moderate, mild. Each subject performed the test in a test space similar to the general home lighting environment. All subjects evaluate visuality and preference while watching four images processed by Lilumino. The four images represent the original image and soft, moderate, strong, adjusted image. And these images are randomly placed on four TV screens. Subjects watch the video and evaluate their visibility and preference by asking the two questions. First, the score of the score for each setting. The question was, how well can you identify an image from four photos? Score from zero to 10. The higher the score, the better the identification. Second question, the preferred setting. The question was, which of four TV settings do you prefer best? This trial found out how much better users understand image when watching TV. 
This graph shows a visibility score for each video enhancement level. As shown in the graph, there was a significant difference in visibility scores depending on the degree of visual impairment. In the severe and moderate visual impairment group, visibility scores of all enhancement levels were higher than the original input. In particular, the severe visual impairment group had highest visibility score at level three, which is the strongest level of enhancement. In the mild visual impairment group, the lightest enhancement level, level one, showed a higher visibility score than the original input. This graph shows the preference ratio is video enhancement level. The severe and moderate visual impairment group prefer level three. That is strong enhancement effect while the mild visual impairment group prefer level one, that is soft enhancement effect. In particular, as the degree of visual impairment increases, the preference for level two or level three increases. In conclusion, it can be assumed that the higher the visual impairment level, the more likely the strongly enhanced video is preferred. We also conducted a contrast sensitivity test using the private vision test software tool. This software tool is used in vision and clinical trials around the world. In the contrast sensitivity test, the C character randomly rotated to one of eight directions, and the subject is tested on whether they can identify which way it is oriented. The test is performed multiple times. The difficulty of the test is automatically adjusted depending on the user's answer. After the test is completed, you can check the calculated contrast sensitivity score. The higher the score, the higher the user's contrast sensitivity. We compare the contrast sensitivity score before and, before and after applying the Lilumino effect. This graph compares the contrast sensitivity scores for each visually impaired group. You can see that contrast sensitivity scores significantly increases in all visually impaired groups. In the moderate visual impairment group, contrast sensitivity score increased by 43%. And the severe and mild visual impairment group, it increased by more than 80%. In particular, the more severe visual impairment, the more effective function becomes. These clinical trials confirm that the Lilumino algorithm has a significant effect on people with low vision. Future work, we will provide a new feature called Together Mode for Lilumino Mode. The Together Mode supports the social TV watching experience by displaying the original and Lilumino Mode videos at the same time. This allows users to watch TV with their families. Currently, Lumino mode is only available on select TV models, but we plan to gradually expand this feature. And we will continue to work improve the viewing experience for people with low vision. At the demo booth behind this stage, you can experience actual Lumino feature along with, with low vision simulation glasses. Yeah. Thank you for listening to the presentation. Have a nice day.